Hello guys, welcome back. This is Fernando with RD2FS. And so today we're going to teach you how to use one of our rental tools that we're going to have uh, now with our rental program, which is our Ro Rosewood uh, Injected Cup Removal Tool and Install Tool. So today in this section, uh, we're going to cover on uh, pretty much, you're going to need a uh, 9 16 for the stud part, and that's going to be to drive the tap. Then after you tap it out, uh, you're going to need a 15 16 six point for the nut to literally pull on the uh, cup to pull it upwards, right? And so this obviously would go on the uh, injector bore, which I'm going to show you guys now. So we're on the head, right? And so one of the tricks I like to do or implement is you get a little bit of uh, tape, shove it down in there so that uh, it covers the injector nozzle hole on that cup. And so the reason you want to do that is because you don't want any of the shrapnel going in there, right, into the cylinder and then scratching your walls or whatever the case may be, or any dirt in general. So you want to, you know, literally push it downwards so it's covering the hole. And then we're going to get our rosewood tool, right, and you're going to insert it. Obviously the nut is going to be all the way to the back for the most part. Right, and so this section right here is going to seat on the injector bore. See that? So it's pretty much going to stabilize the whole tool. Then this goes downwards, and then now you're going to get your, I believe it's 9 16 and now you're going to drive the stud so you can bite on that uh, injector cup, right? And you need about four to six full turns. You hear it grabbing? Obviously, the threads are already lubricated, and that's what you want to do. We're doing this with a half wrench or half drive. That should be enough. Alrighty, so now we're going to change to the different uh, socket. If I can find it, right here. Uh, and that socket is 15 16. You want to drive this down by hand. See? And now this should come up easy as pie. Again, we're turning clockwise. That's it. She's coming out. You're going to feel, there's going to be a point where you feel no resistance. And that's when the cup literally has just fully come out. And there you go. She's out. So now, <clears throat> pull. And there's your cup. There's your old cup. And so obviously, uh, you see the tape that we initially put in there was covering that injector nozzle hole so that nothing falls into the cylinder. So now we need to go into a uh, vice grip or just a uh, pair of pliers to grab this corner right here and twist this off. And in other words, unscrew it. Before that, let me show you the inside. Let me position the light differently. So that's what pretty much that looks horrible I don't know what that is in there um, but anyways we got to clean all that uh, sealant out in there uh, with brushes or whatnot or whatever you can get your hands on pretty well before you do uh, the sealant on there pause the video and we're gonna go to removing the um, injector cup or in other words unscrewing it off the tool all right so once you get that uh, vice grip or uh, wrench on this uh, injector cup, right? As you can see there, you're gonna screw it, and obviously be careful while you're close to the engine. So then, so you can see the tape did its purpose. And so, if we were to take this out, let's see if we can get this out. Let me get a pick. All right, we were to get this out. 
you can clearly see how the tool did its job and pretty much tapped this sucker so you can get it out right obviously clean these these guys out right clean the tool out feel free to use uh, compressed air to clean it and then obviously re-oil the tool for the next injector cup the next section is going to be how to install an injector cup um, and that will follow along please stay tuned